So let's say Ellsbury, I think he's owed $47 million, but just for math's sake, we'll say he's owed $50 million. So he has a no trade clause, so does Cano, but it's probably, they probably agree because that's close to where Ellsbury, Ellsbury lives. Cano loves New York. So 50 subtracted from 120 is 70. So then you've got $70 million divided by five, which is one, $14 million a year. I still think that's too much for a guy coming off a PD. Yeah. He's a, yeah, so if that's if, the way you can let's miss an entire year. Right. If I'm the New York Yankees, if I really am exploring Cano hit 309 last year, here's what I do. You're going to have to make it, um, you have to make it 40 million. You're going to have to add another. You're going to have to bring our cost down to $8 million a year. Then we'll take them. Right. Now, will that be worth it to the Mariners to do? Where? They're only saving the $40 million out of the 120 they owe them. And they're getting a player back in Ellsbury, and it's anybody's guess if he has anything left. But if I'm the Yankees, and I, I still believe they're truly in on Machado. And this is probably just due diligence by Cashman and company. But if I'm the Yankees and I can get Robinson Cano, who can still hit at $8 million a year, I'm doing it. I would do it because even if he's shot the last two years when he's 41 and 42, you just release him. Even knowing that the next time he gets caught, it's a, it's a full year. Right. He won't get caught again. When you say you that, hope that, he, he doesn't, doesn't do it. it. But you can never say never. You can't. You can't tell me that it's not. It's not possible that it no, can happen. I mean, look at the look at Mejia. No, I'm just saying he did it three he, times. He took it knowing he was going to miss half a year and not be eligible for the playoffs. Where right. with the Mariners, let's face it, if he didn't get suspended. Mm -hmm. They they could have possibly made the playoffs. They mm -hmm. finished above they, 500. They, they they played well at the beginning without him. So, I mean, it, it's just very intriguing, mm -hmm. but it is a warning to everybody. Now, Harper and Machado are different cases because if you look at A-Rod's first contract, that was a great contract. You got great performance out of him because he signed it when he was 26, and that's exactly what Harper and Machado would do. The bad contract was giving A-Rod, after he opted out after seven years, right. a 10-year deal when he was 32. That was the sad. last three, four years would sunk costs. So you, 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 baseball, I think they've learned from their mistakes. But I think that both Harper and Machado will get 10-year deals because of their age. Because they're young. I get it. It's I, intriguing because it's Cano. I, 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 I would you would, do it if you could get the cost down to eight million? Well, eight a year. million dollars. Listen, if you really look at it, Robinson Cano is definitely worth more than eight million dollars a year. So you are kind of getting a bargain. I'd be scared off a little bit by the fact that the next suspension's a full year. Mm -hmm. When I'm a win now team, do I want to invest in this guy? It sounds silly that he would do it, but it happened with Mejia. It happened with Cano. We knew he was going to miss half a season. He still did it. Remember, this is the guy they, you know, they they traded Melky Cabrera away. Mm -hmm. You know, because they knew there was something going on there. So you, you, so you know something's going on. With, I still think deep down in my, in my mind that they knew something was up with Cano too. They still made him an offer, but they knew the offer was going to be refused. It's got to be on their mind. I probably do it. I'd love the Mets to get involved, but I don't even know if they would go they as would, far as that. For eight million a year, they would. That's. I mean, you're getting a guy who, before he got suspended, was a Hall of Fame track player, Hall of Famer, and his numbers have been pretty good the last couple of years. With yeah, all said and done, that's three hundred. He's a good player. He's a, and he's a good defender, but is he going to be a good player in five years? That's why, if you're the Yankees, sending Jacoby Ellsbury there is not enough. Because $70 million over five years is too much for me to pay for a guy who you would assume is off of PEDs, and you wonder how much you know, of a player he's going to be.